Hi guys, Midi Place here, bringing you another Clash Royale video. So today what I'm going to be doing is talking about how uh, Supercell really destroyed tournaments in the game. Um, now this week, um, Midi Week podcast has already went up on Sunday. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that this week, I'm just going to let them upload on Sunday from now on because um, I feel like it's not worth um, putting the timestamps in or whatever. Um, I will still put in um, something that says like, hey, the video starts at this time uh, or whatever um so yeah uh, also i'm going to turn down my brightness to like the lowest i can so uh you guys won't notice but i will mid game uh no i'm just kidding i will have it on a little bit of brightness but um but yeah i wanted to talk about how supercell destroyed tournaments this um this video because i feel like tournaments could really have been uh, a good game mode tournaments i mean um we're gonna they were gonna be um like the most the biggest update of the game like basically that's what they planned it to be um and they were like okay this is our first version of tournaments but they still haven't fixed them and i don't really know why but um but you know it's kind of annoying that um they haven't because i was really planning on them starting to do some tournaments and i mean they are still fun um don't get me wrong but um they are definitely um not as worth it anymore um, also, yeah, uh, this is gonna go pretty bad. One fire spirit is just stopping me from placing anything there, literally. Uh, there we go. Now I can finally place my goblin gate. Um, there we go. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to talk about this episode. Can you stop your furnaces, please, you pleb? Um, how they really, um, could have done tournaments that, um, would have been a way that worked. Um, and also, if you guys do agree with me, then, um, please, uh, put a comment down below if you uh if you do agree with or disagree with anything that i say in this video or if you have any questions about it um so the first thing i wanted to say is that i don't know why they did it as a private leaderboard i don't get it because like the private leaderboard thing just did not work it didn't like that was the thing um that really ruined tournaments for me like it was the um it was the fact that it was a private leaderboard and not bracketed because um i feel like tournaments right now everyone uh, who participates uh, for the whole tournament has to play for one hour. Uh, that's that's how it works. That's how you're expecting to win um, the actual tournament. Um, like, actually win it, um, if you're even going to try, that is. <laughs> Supposedly, that's what you're doing if you've entered the tournament. But um, but basically, that's the um, that's the standard. Also, is that going to hit it? Is that going to hit it? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, that, that was the, um, that was the thing at the start, that was, um, okay, right, right, we need to defend here, so, um, oh my goodness, this deck is so annoying, it's just hog cycle, and it, pretty much, like, I'm playing this deck a lot recently, like, a lot, <laughs> um, but yeah, what was I, um, wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, again, oh my god, this deck, um, let me log that, get that out of there, bam, get some shots on the tower, I don't think we're winning this though, but yeah, um, ev oh yeah, everyone that participates in the tournament, um, they have to, um, play for an hour if they're going to expect to win at all, um, really, okay, okay, yeah, I always get wrecked by hog furnace decks especially, definitely putting that in the no school channel, um, alright, but, um, literally just for the sake of it being furnace um but yeah um like any anyone in a tournament has to play for the four hour uh well unless unless they play for like a few games and just give up or want to stay in that specific spot um for that um but then also i'm going to show i'm going to show a couple of replays uh why not show this one why not um, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to do any more battles, but, um, if they did it as bracketed tournaments, um, think about it. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know what a bracketed tournament is, it's basically where, um, where there's a certain amount of people, uh, in a tournament and you, um, you're selected to play someone at random, um, by like, uh, well, usually at random, 
uh, either that or by like your trophy count or the order you join the uh, the clan that is hosting the tournament because back in the day when we had to actually make a new clan to like do a tournament but um but yeah um when we had to used to do uh, when we used to have to do that um i would just randomly generate when i uh, used to do tournaments uh, i would just randomly generate um spots for uh, who who would play who uh, and it would basically just be a 1v1 and the winner uh, advances to the next round also watch these no skill e bulbs right here pro skills um but yeah um level 12 as well amazing um why did he poison that as well that was ridiculous um it was literally just a no health inferno but um if if it's bracketed uh say there was eight people in the tournament so um four people are gonna win uh, amazing tornado as well <laughs> um and then um four people are going to win in advance to the next round and then after that um the uh, next people will 1v1 and then there'll be two people left and then it'll be the final round usually like a, a higher amount of rounds instead of like just one round and whoever wins that goes through it's like a best of three so the first of two wins uh goes and wins the tournament uh, i feel like that would work better uh, and here's the reason why um so uh, if you think about it, in any game, uh, we're just going to say that any any game is three minutes. It doesn't really matter whether it's um, the full game of six minutes or not. Um, but if the game goes to um, six minutes, um, it will, so say if it goes to uh, three minutes uh, every single game in this tournament, um, and I end up uh, winning the first round and then losing the second, um, or just just to make it easier, let's say that I just lose the first round. Uh, do pretty bad, uh, lose to E-Barbs, obviously, because that's, um, actually not Graveyard Poison, Rex in tournament, so yeah, I lose to Graveyard Poison, and, um, that's the end of the tournament, great, you can leave and just join another one, you've wasted three minutes getting no cards, now that, I feel like, is not as bad, because right now, um, if you play a thousand player tournament, then you're gonna, like, be wasting an hour getting zero cards, you can get more for coming on, at the start of the day and you can get 28 cards from that you can get potential four gems potential six gems in fact um just from coming on at the start of the day and um literally collecting your free chest like if you're arena 11 you get 28 cards at the start of the day and every four hours you'll get another 14 um from one chest uh, and uh, about 100 gold as well if we actually look at the rewards here we end up getting um 91 to 104 and we end up getting 13 cards sorry so you get 26 um i literally don't even know how many cards i get in my free chest <laughs> that's how much i don't pay attention but um but yeah um if that all right we're gonna we're gonna quickly find another replay here while i'm looking and why not uh we'll play th we'll play this replay why not um so yeah, this is one during the podcast as well. So, um, so yeah, here's our decks right there. Uh, and I'm just going to hide those for now. So, um, if you advance to the second round and then you ended up losing there, um, then potentially maybe um, for setting up that tournament, maybe you paid like a uh, really, really small amount because an eight-player tournament is not going to last very long at all. Also, nice log. <laughs> um, just wrecked that scar me. Uh, barely even saw some of them. But, um but yeah, um, so, um, so yeah, you advance to the second round, and, uh, you end up losing in the second round instead, uh, again, this game, um, will be three minutes, uh, we're gonna talk about here, so, um, so that means you'd have got a small reward for, um, for getting to the semi-final in the tournament, and, um, and then you'll, uh, you'll have been playing for six minutes instead, um, now, just, like, for argument's sake, that's the only reason why I'm using the number 8, uh, but generally, it is a multiple of, um, like, uh, it goes up, uh, it doubles every time, so it's 2, uh, then 4, then 6, uh, then 8, sorry, then 16, then 32, then 64, then 128. In fact, the tournament that Supercell are doing, uh, is a 1,024-person tournament, so they're actually, for the Crown Championship, they're even themselves, they're doing bracketed tournaments. They always do it. Every single um, tournament for Clash Royale, or also for most games, in fact, not even just Clash Royale, um, but in most games, um, you end up doing it bracketed uh, and not like a private leaderboard 
sort of stuff that Clash Royale decided to do for some weird reason, but you know. I can see why they did it, but um, again, uh, I kind of don't as well after uh, we look back at tournaments. So um, you get to the final, and uh, if you win or lose, you'll be playing for 9 minutes. Uh, if it's again another three minute game and then you're gonna you're gonna be getting uh, quite a big reward like you're gonna be getting the biggest reward it's like tournaments right now uh if after this replay we go and look at the rewards for even the even the biggest tournament like you look at the rewards for it and they're pretty bad they are really really bad because you are paying thousands of gems for a tournament and like the prizes people are getting are tiny like they're four cards um, and the thing is, about 200 people are getting 4 cards, but if you add them all up, that's 800. Let's say if, if it was that number, I don't know the exact number, but if it was that number, then that's 800 cards, and everyone's going to be getting like 4 cards, which is ridiculous. 4 cards is nothing, that's like, that's again, not even a free chest. So, they need to make tournaments bracketed, they need to, because you'll be getting more of a reward for the longer you play. And that's what really the game needs to be about. That's what the game needs to be about at this point. Um, the more you play, um, the more cards you're going to get. Like, I literally have played in several thousand player tournaments, and I've got barely any cards. Like, even at the start of the game with the 250,000 gem ones, I still didn't get any prizes. I got 40 cards, I think. 40 cards? place in about 600th because you had to be in the top 800 i think to get a prize uh in back in the day uh and now uh because people were exploiting the system um and just selling spots in tournaments which is really really weird um um then uh, they had to change the system around which really really ruined the game uh or tournaments for me at least so here's the prizes for a 10,000 gem Tournament. Let's look at how much 10,000 gems is first of all. So 10,000 gems uh, is going to cost you about, uh, let's say, 70 pounds. Let's say 70 pounds. Um, about, about 70, 75 pounds. So it's a really, really expensive tournament. Obviously, there's not really much point in, cre in creating one if you don't have enough gems, especially for me right now. Um, but yeah, even if you did, I mean, it's still not that worth it. Not many people would appreciate it. Um, well, I mean, they still would, but... Like, it's not as many uh, cards as it really should be. So, we look at the top prize, and it's 2,000 cards. That's that's a really, really good chest. I mean, come on, you look at a Super Magical, and it gives you how many? Um, a Super Magical gives you 738. So, it's pretty much three Super Magicals. Uh, except there's not as many Epics, there's not as many Rares uh, in the chest. Uh, at least, I'm pretty sure. At least, for the Epics. Now, third, second place is only going to get 1,200 cards. So, it's about one and a half Super Magicals. Third is only going to get roughly one super magical off of cards, 800. Uh, and the top 200 pl uh, players will receive a prize. Now, the prizes are ridiculous. First of all, that's the top 20% of people. That is the tiny, um, that is the minority of people in the tournament. So there's a thousand players. Assuming that a thousand people join, only 20% of them are going to get a prize. Um, which is really bad, to be honest. I don't think that should be right. Um, and as my phone runs out here, we're gonna um, we're gonna talk about um, fourth to tenth, which is um, only 150 cards, so it drops by a massive amount. You can lose one game in a tournament, lose about 10 trophies, and you'll have lost. Well, even even if you lost like five, um, you'd have one lost three minutes of the tournament, and two you'll fall down from like first or second to like sixth, and you'll get. From like 2,000 cards to 150. It's ridiculous. Tournaments are broken right now. And they need to fix them. But as my phone runs out. As I say. I'm going to get the stats up for. Um, 10,000 gem tournament Clash Royale. Uh, chests. And hopefully it's going to come up with something. Um, it comes up with a 10,000 card tournament. Back in the day when you got. Um, second place in a 250,000 gem one. Uh, you got 10,000 cards and you got about 6 legendaries from one chest. I mean, you can still get multiple in one. Um, but yeah. 10,000 gem tournament Clash Royale. Hopefully it comes up. If it does come up with anything, I'll put it on the screen. But if it doesn't, then I won't. Um, but yeah. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of ones that came up. But uh, yeah, tournament chests. So um, 
So hopefully it comes up with them, uh, 6,000 cards. So, um, so yeah, these are really, really old. So they used to be... Alright, let, let, you know what? Let's still show these stats. Let's still, sh still sh show these stats. I can't, I can't talk. I literally can't talk. But we will put them on the screen uh, just for the sake of it. So, bam, there we go. Um, so it is on the screen right now, and if you got first in a hundred player tournament, you got 30 cards That's five more than you do now. That makes no difference um, But I mean like back then it was a 500 gem tournament. That's the only thing that's really benefited um, Now you can make hundred gem tournaments instead of 500 really really good for the free to plays uh, But then again the achievement changed for it instead of it being a 500 gem achievement. It was a 100 gem and um, but then you got to stuff like 8,000, uh, 800 players, sorry, and, um, and 1,000 players, uh, and you end up getting, um, quite a, uh, big amount of 15,000 cards, 800 player tournament, you'd end up with 6,000 cards, because there was a ton of customization, again, if you guys remember, back in the day, uh, when this update came out, there was a ton of customization, nine different tournaments, instead of, right now, there's only four. Uh, 100 gems, 500 gems, 2,000 and 10,000 gems. Uh, and with these, there was a ton. 50% um, of the players earned a prize. That's why it was so much easier. That's why it was so much better. Um, I mean, it depended on the tournament. So, uh, for a 100 player tournament, um, only 40% 40, uh, 40 of them would win a prize. But with uh, a 1,000 player tournament, 50% would win. And, I mean... The system worked. That system did go okay. People were making occasional quarter of a million gem tournaments, which sounds ridiculous, but it needs to be bracketed. Even if they make a free version, if they make a new one that is literally no prize, just free to play tournament, they could easily do that. Uh, just no prizes. Uh, and then I'll be able to like give people on my stream like prizes and credits. Like now, even then, that would work because that would be more appealing to me at least um, for a bracketed tournament than a, um, a closed um, leaderboard one because a leaderboard just doesn't work um, very well especially with um, the tiny tiny prizes that you get unless you do massively well in a tournament even top players um, barely any of the time they do good in tournaments they never do good um, you never hear of anyone um, doing good in tournaments really um unless they're absolutely amazing in the game they um they literally win every single time but um not many people can uh, can really do that so um so yeah let me uh let me know in the comments if you guys um agree with me did uh, do they think do you think that they should make tournaments bracketed uh, or just keep them the same right now because they have already said that um that they will be uh, changing tournaments, and also, guys, I'm gonna check uh, ClashRoyale.com quick because um, 2v2 draft has been introduced, and um, yeah, not it's not actually um, in the game yet, but um, it is definitely coming. Um, yeah, so some of the new 2v2 game modes coming in the next update: 2v2 draft, 2v2 friendlies. That is definitely something to look forward to. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, like and likes, comment in the comments, subscribe, and subscribe, and peace out. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, about this, uh, and let me know if you think they should fix tournaments or even then um, do some balance changes. What do you think the next balance changes will be in the game? And peace out.